We're going to lock this app down so it opens websites selected by our user. The first step to doing this is to give the user the option to choose one of our selected websites. And that means adding a button to the navigation bar. Somewhere in view to load, but always after calling super.view to load, add this line of code. Navigation item dot right bar button item equals a UI bar button item. And this time we're going to use a custom title rather than a bar button system item. I'll give this the title open. For the style, it's only really one option for several years now, which is dot plain. For target, we'll do self. And for action, we're going to say hash selector open tapped. A method we have not written yet, so we'll get a slight error for the time being. We did exactly this in the previous project, except here we're using a custom title for our bar button rather than a system icon. So it's going to call the open tap method when the button's tapped. So let's add that now. I'll scroll below view to load. And if you remember, we must use at obj c here because of the target action system. We'll say func open tapped. We'll make a new UI alert controller with the title being open page. The message, the text inside the alert is going to be nil. And the alert style is going to be dot action sheet. Inside there, we're going to say ac dot add action with a UI alert action. Title will be apple.com. Style will be default. Handler, we're going to use an, another function here we haven't written yet called open page. Then I'll copy and paste that and below say the same thing, but uh, hackingwithswift.com. Below that, we will say ac.add action, a UI alert action, title being cancel. Style will be dot cancel. And the handler, I'll just delete that code entirely because the handler is nil by default, which means just dismiss the alert. We'll do ac dot popover presentation controller, question mark dot bar button item equals navigation item dot right bar button item to attach it to our bar button item for iPads. And finally, present ac animated true. So we have not written this open page method yet. So you'll get warnings that you can ignore for the time being. Now remember, this line of code here, setting popover presentation controller bar button item is important for iPad. It tells iOS where it should make this action sheet be anchored. Now we used UI alert controller in project two, but it's slightly different here for three reasons. First, we are specifying nil for the message because this alert does not need one. Second, we are using the dot action sheet style here because we're prompting the user for more information. Please choose from one of these options. And again, we have a dedicated cancel button here with a dot cancel style and no handler, which will just hide the alert controller when cancel is tapped. Now, both our website buttons point to this open page method, which again, doesn't exist yet. This is going to be very similar to how we loaded the web page before, but now you will at least see why the handler method of UI alert action takes a parameter telling you which action was selected. So let's scroll down and add this new method now. We'll say func open page with an action that is a UI alert action. We'll take a new URL that is equal to the string of HTTPS colon slash slash plus the title from our action. Now this is an optional string. We have to force unwrap that. And of course, making a URL from a string, we've got to force unwrap that as well. The double force unwrap. And then use webview.load with a URL request. Inside there, the URL, our URL. 
Now this thing takes only one parameter, which is the UI alert action that was selected by the user. Obviously it's what we called if the cancel button was tapped, because it had a nil handler, we had no handler at all, rather than using open page. What it does is it takes a title of our action and uses that with HTTPS in front of it as a new URL. Then it wraps that inside a URL request and passes that to our web view. All you need to do is make sure the websites in the alert controller are correct and this method will load anything at all. Now there is a double force unwrap going on here. One, because we know our alert actions will have a title and one, because we know the finished string will be a valid URL. We could wrap that inside guard let if you want to be safe. If you want to say, have some things in your uh, alert actions that might not be valid URLs, which again, shouldn't be the case, but there's still no harm trying out how it might look if you want to be really, really sure it's safe. You might do something like this. Guard let action title equals action dot title else return. So we failed to get an action title correctly. Then guard let URL equals URL string this thing plus action title again else return and then load that in a URL request. And that'll do much the same thing, just with this URL always being safe, otherwise the method will exit straight away. You can go ahead and test the app now if you want to, but there's one small change we can add to make the whole experience more pleasant, which is setting the title in the navigation bar. Now we are the web views navigation delegate, which means we'll be told when any interesting navigation happens, such as when the web page has finished loading. We're going to use this to set the navigation bar title. As soon as we told Swift that our view controller class conformed to the WK navigation delegate protocol, Xcode updated its code completion system to support all the WK navigation delegate methods that can be called. As a result, if we go below open page here and start typing web, you'll see lots of different options here for WebKit. I'm going to go ahead and choose web view did finish navigation. This will be called when the web page has finished loading its page. Inside there, I'll say title, i.e. our view controller's title, is equal to the web view's title. Press command R now to build and run the app and put in a simulator. And all being well, we should see our page title change as we go somewhere. So here is hacking with Swift. Here's our open button. I choose that. I'll see apple.com. Add hacking with Swift. I'll choose apple.com. Boom, here's the Apple homepage, and here it is saying Apple at the top. 